Hello and welcome to Chewing the Cud. No, not even Boris himself can stop us bringing you your weekly roundup of showbiz news, fun stories from the internet, and yet another of our award-winning life lessons. But unlike lockdown dating, I'm not sat here on my own with a tissue in one hand. Let's welcome November 1937's Hunk of the Month, it's Lee. That award means a lot to me, and, and I will, I, I, I polish that thing off I, I'm a sure lot. I, <laughs> <laughs> I do, yes. Um, I'm back with some wild showbiz news, including a story about a 90s TV show that is coming back in the 2020s. And like a stoked up a drain pipe, I've been ferreting around the dark corners of the internet to bring you stories to amuse and maybe get your titters out. I said titters. This week, the buzz includes a story about a hacker. If you want to keep up with our latest shenanigans, you can always find us on The Cud TV on all of your social media sites. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to all of this gloriousness as a podcast, all you have to do is search for Chewing the Cud. And if you have commented, shared, or clicked like on one of our social media platforms, then your name could be sliding along the screen now, like a slidey McSlidey thing. Right, Mike, I'm coming up, so you better get the party started. Who do you think you are, pink? I'm more pink glitter. So, more Shirley Bassey, then. Let's just get on with it. Game of the Week. When he's not working on the show... The producer sometimes helps out in the local cocktail bar, which is often frequented by the rich and famous. He recalls the time he provided Rod Stewart with a slow screw against the wall, Jimmy Cranky with sex on the beach, and Bucks Fizz with a sugared rim. So to celebrate that, he's asked us to decide whether these are real cocktails or ones he's just made up. Let's see the first one, please. So the first one we have here is a Juicy Lucy. Juicy Lucy. Juicy Lucy. Um, that was a nickname of a girl um, down the road from me. Really? Why was yeah. she Juicy Lucy? I don't really know. It just used to really annoy her when we used to say, Juicy Lucy. Um, <laughs> was, was, she, was she a voluptuous young lady? No, but she used to leave a trail behind her. Oh, right. I know. No, mm. I suppose snail doesn't rhyme with Lucy, really, does it? So. No. Yeah. Um, I, I don't, I'm not a big big drinker of the alcohol. Are you not? No. Oh. No. See, I am, but I can't remember what I order any time. No. I, can't I, like I don't know whether Juicy Lucy... I'm going to say, I don't think it is. You don't think it is? No. You see, I think it might be a Juicy Lucy. I think it might just be like a, one of these alcohol-free cocktail things. Oh, okay. Juicy Lucy. Shall we have a look? Shall we see if it is true or not? Oh, it just stops him saying, oh, oh, it is. It's vodka, gin, blue, crack, how do you say that? Cracko. Cracko. Orange juice and Sprite. Oh. No, I don't know what blue Cracko is. It's that, do you know when your parents had a liquor cabinet? Mm-hmm. Right? And it used to have that blue liquid in. Yeah. Yeah, from, normally from bowls. Yeah. Yeah. It's that. Oh. It tastes of blue. Tastes of blue. It tastes of blue. Toilet cleaner. Well, no, it's nicer than toilet cleaner, oh, but okay. it's just blue. Okay, don't drink toilet cleaner. No, um, please don't. No, so, so point, point to you, because you, you, you're probably going to do better <laughs> than this and, for, for me. Let's have the next one up. A drunken sailor. I have had a drunken sailor. What about the drink? Uh, oh, yeah, sh- no, not the drink. I've actually had several in um, there. I know the song, What Shall We Do With The Drunken Sailor? What Shall We Do With The Drunken Sailor? Do you know the rude lyrics? No, because I'm a good guy. Because you know when they say tie him up until he's sober? Yes. Yeah, but it's not till he's sober. Tie him up until he bleeds from his rectum? No. <laughs> tie him up and shove a sock in his mouth so he can't scream. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Is a drunken sailor a cocktail, though? I think it might be. I'm going to go with no I'm gonna go again. Now. Because I'm so well educated at this kind of stuff. Just <laughs> because you know it's a song. Yeah. So, no. Let's see. Who's right, who's wrong? Oh! oh. See? Rum, gin, ginger ale, and lime juice. Oh, that sounds quite nice, actually. Okay. I'm thinking I quite might enjoy that now. You're going to mix yourself one up later. 
for later. I think it's time we go for a break. Oh, <laughs> okay, it's two now. Exactly. Shall we, yeah. have, shall we have another? Go on then. So it's up. Molokov Smolovov. A Molokov Smolovov. Um, <laughs> I have heard of a Molokov. Oh, cocktail. yeah, that's not a cocktail, though, is it? No, that's, that's a bomb. bomb. <laughs> um, I'm going to say no, because it doesn't really sound... That's not an easy word to say. But I suppose it's if you're not, drunk... Well, if you're drunk, you probably go, oh, yeah, I'm over that phone mouth, and that's a drink you get presented, blah, 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 blah. and then they would give it you. A pint so, mild. You know, okay, I'll... I'll I'm, no, I'm going to go with no. Yeah, I'm going to go with no as well. Yeah, let's see. It's oh, a fake. Oh, Okay. One point oh, each. A whole point each, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'm going to go with nothing of saying everything is false. Okay. Just to, just to see. It's a 50 50 chance. Yeah, that it way. is. It is, yeah. yeah. Let's have another one. Dances with Wenches. That's your drag name. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the stage. Dances with Wenches. Um, I don't know. That's is what I don't think it is a cocktail, you know. Do you not think? No. I'm going to go, yes, it is. I'm going to go with, yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. <gasps> That's it is. right. Yeah. Blackbeard spiced rum and cranberry juice. <laughs> so it's just a rum and cranberry. <laughs> okay. That's uh, a yeah. choice. Mm, I don't, yeah. It's prink. Prink? It's prink. I've had one. <laughs> You've um, had four or five. Yeah. Out of it's prink, so it looks quite nice. Um, okay, let, 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 let's, let's do another. Let's have another round. See what I said then? I did, I did. Yeah, did. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. A legs akimbo. That's the one that's named after you, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's four shots of vodka, three of tequila, and a bit of a hypno. <gasps> and it's a hypno that gives it its specific flavour, doesn't it? Exactly, yeah. Mm. It's what it's renowned for. <laughs> yeah, yum. Um, but in seriousness, do not put raw hypnol in people's drinks. No. Just on a tissue. And the face. That's chloroform. Oh! Because <laughs> <laughs> I would make a Lee, crap in that Because <laughs> Lee used to kidnap people in the 1900s. <laughs> Get in their sack! Um, <laughs> I've that before. <laughs> um, Legs akimbo. Legs akimbo. It I, sounds I, like it something you would get yeah. in some, you know... A weather spoons. One of the akimbo! Like that. Yeah. And they all go, Hee! It's probably one filled with cream and... Yeah. 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 I, I think it is as well. Yeah. Shall we see? Let's see. <gasps> oh, it's a fake. It's a fake. Why is it a fake? It should, it should be a real one. It should be. I think we should invent it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Got time for another one? Go on, then. A short trip to hell. Well, that's probably just a couple of shots added together. Yeah. Did you ever play Minesweeper? No. No. Do you know what Minesweeper is? No. No. Do I have to explain this to you? Yes. But any students watching will go, oh, yes, that's a sad thing. It's literally where you just... Ends of everybody's drinks. Ugh. That's gross. It is gross, yeah. Ugh. Well, you're just like drinking people's like flobby, flobby, flobby juice flobby, at the bottom flobby, of flobby, the flobby, flobby, yeah. glasses. <laughs> it's just flobby. I like it. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a, just like night out. Which one's my drink? Oh, one of them is. Uh, um, I'm going to go with true because I think it's one of those ones where you you like plop a shot inside something else and then drink it. Like a bomb. Y yeah, is that what they're called? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it probably is, but I think it's probably a little bit more complex than that. Oh, a little bit more refined. Okay. Like Sarah refined, said complex. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Popping a shot inside of a soft drink is not complex. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they like putting in a beer or something. Like I don't know. I don't know what you you alcohol drinkers do. <laughs> it's not just say alcoholics, though. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see who's right, who's wrong. So Are we both right? right? We are both right, were we? Yeah. Yes. Peach, strawberry, wild berry, schnapps. Finish with a can of Red Bull and a shot of it. Oh, that doesn't sound nice. No. Oof, that sounds like vomit. Yeah, that does actually sound like one that you do plop the yeah, plop in, in, a thing yeah, in a plop in the thing, yeah. Yeah, and then you neck it. Yeah, and end up with a glass smacking you in the face. Mm, how uncouth. I know. Um, who, who, who is the winner and who is the loser? I think we're, I think we're both losers in this game. Are we? Um... You've got three points, and I've got four. Oh. So I am the winner. Well done, you. Yes. You alcoholic. Um, I don't know. No, I prefer the, the term unquenchable. 
Unquenchable thirst. Yes, unquenchable. <laughs> Still to come, we are bringing you the next life lesson. But just after the break, it's Ali with the showbiz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we're going to speak to the person who won the newspaper, described as pretty much like a gay bee. It's Lee. I don't understand what gay bee is. It's like a bee, but it's, it's bumbling around being quite camp and going, la la la, I'm a gay bee, rather than just a bee. I thought it was a butterfly. No, no, a butterfly is a, a, an adult worm. No, not an adult worm, adult caterpillar. Yeah, but a dolphin uh -huh. is a gay shark. No, because sharks are fish, dolphins are a mammal. No, you've got it wrong. Anyway, let's do some showbiz. Um, so, 2020 so far has been quite pants. It's, it's not nice pants, not sexy pants. It, it's been horrible pants. Old pants with, with odd stains on. I'm yeah. just going to go with Holes. odd stains rather than skid marks. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right. It's been like your pants. Yeah. My pants are nice. <laughs> I'll have you know, other people's pants are unpleasant. We've got some excellent news. We've got some news that's going to save 2020. Not literally, oh. it'll just make it a little bit better. So it's not news about like a vaccine for no, coronavirus. No, no, no. no. Just make Boris me Johnson happy, resigning. Yeah. That's it's, all that counts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, iconic 90s, early noughties makeover show, Changing Rooms, is returning. How, oh, I'm so excited. Do, 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 oh, do, excited. Do, do, do. It was amazing. It wasn't amazing. It was awful. Mm -hmm. But it was brilliant because it was awful. Yeah. So for those people who don't know what Changing Rooms is about, is that there was a team of designers mm -hmm. and two victims, or volunteers, who would say, yeah, can that, that designer come into my house and give my room a makeover? Mm -hmm. So it could be your bedroom or your living room or other rooms. <laughs> you may have in your house. <laughs> that they could change. So they could change them. Yes, they could change um, your rooms. They yeah. could control and the changing rooms, yeah. Probably 90% of the time they were hideous, and the people... Going as low as 90%. Yeah, the, yeah. the people didn't like them. Yeah. Uh, but that was the fun of it, because of the reactions of the people. So, they're bringing it back on Channel 4. Mm -hmm. It's about six to eight episodes, just to see how it goes. Okay. Um, Smiley Smiley Carol Smiley is not being brought back as the she was the yeah. she was kind of like the presenter she when was it was the on the BBC. Of that show. She held it together. She kept them going. She, she had did. a whistle for the end of the hour. She did. When things went wrong, she would laugh. Mm -hmm. um, that kind of stuff. So no, Carol Smiley. Oh. She was like yesterday's wallpaper. Gone okay. in the bin. And okay. they're replacing her <laughs> with Davina McCall. She is going to be rich. She is going to be doing it um, with. Why are you laughing? Why are you changing your wallpaper daily? <laughs> <laughs> wallpaper of yesterday, yesteryear, <laughs> yesteryear old right? wallpaper that nobody likes anymore. <laughs> like that flocked stuff. That's Carol Smiley flocked wallpaper. Right. Nobody cares. Anyway, <laughs> so they're replacing Carol Smiley with Davina McCall. Okay. Who is, you think he's quite a nice substitute? I do like Davina yeah. presenting things. Um, out of all the presenters, mm -hmm. now do you know some of the names of the, the past presenters? Um, so there's Linda Barker. Linda Barker. There was um, Colin and Gay One. Colin and Gay One, and is Colin and Justin, yes. Colin and Justin, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There was Handy Andy. Yes. That who, used to make things out of MDF. Yeah, he wasn't handy handy. No, he was just, yeah. He was yeah. useful. Um, but the only one that's so far made it back mm -hmm. is kind of king of changing rooms, king of the leather pants. Oh, no. It's Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. He's coming back. Oh. Um, he has said that it's taken him quite a lot of coaxing to get him back under the changing rooms banner, but he's going to squeeze himself into those leather trousers once again. It's taken him a lot of coaxing. He is a tenor. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> Love for it. Money, money, come Go, on. <laughs> I've got my wallpaper paste ready. I'm coming. Um, so, oh, um, so. <laughs> you ooed yourself there. <laughs> it was, I've got my wallpaper paste and I'm coming. Woo! <laughs> I, I've made it myself. The best thing about changing rooms was when it went horribly wrong. Which it quite frequently Which it did. went, you know, 
but the the, the legendary one mm -hmm. was the woman whose entire teapot collection mm -hmm. was smashed to smithereens. <laughs> yes. So we've got a picture here of, of what. So so Linda Barker, who was the designer for this mm -hmm. room, decided that in this this room that she was doing for this woman, she would have these hanging shelves from the ceiling, mm -hmm. um, and to display this lady's. Teapots. Teapots. So, so this is what it should, what did look like for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, they all went home, came back the next morning, somebody had put some books on it, and that's what had happened. Oh, dear. Completely and utterly smashed. Six but, grand's worth of delightful teapots. But the thing is, when those teapots have been broken, they've, you know, they've saved us from having to see those teapots ever again. Yeah, but to be fair, Lawrence and Ron ran in, picked them all up, and made them into a mosaic on somebody's fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, oh, it's beautiful. Um, so, yeah, that was the best bit. Now, the lady who, who owned these teapots, called, she's called Cloda. Mm -hmm. um, and she she's still bitter about this. She really? She is. So when they announced that it was coming back, they mm -hmm. got in touch with her, and she was like, "Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm still not happy about it." Yeah. Um, I, I every she, so so this is what she has said: is that bit of shade. She said on the very rare occasions that I see her on television, <laughs> referring to Linda Barker, uh -huh. um, she's still very bouncy, and I just don't think she's earned that bounce. So, <laughs> 20 years ago, she smashed your teapots. Still not Still it. not let it go. They, they, the insurance did reimburse her at the time. Okay, so, she got the right. money back. But it, she was so damaged that she never restarted it. She said, <laughs> I couldn't bear for it to happen again. <laughs> she was damaged trying to think about the teapots. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, that is coming back next year. I can't wait for it to happen. Mm -hmm. It's brilliant. Um, bit of drag queen news now. Ooh. UK drag queen news. Uh -huh. So, drag queens, they like, they like to do... All sorts of things, don't they? They like to have a little bit of fashion. Mm -hmm. They like to do a little bit of promoting makeup. They like yeah. to do a bit of acting. They also like to do some music. They do indeed. So the Vivian, who we've spoken about on the show before, yeah, um, she she's partial to a sing. She likes to have a little warble, okay, um, with her vocal cords. And that's mm -hmm. apparently what singing is. Um, and um, she has released a cover of. Dead or Alive's You Spin Me Right Round, oh. which is kind of like their signature song. It is indeed. Yeah, so, yeah. so there we've got a picture of the cover, the original, the 80s cover mm -hmm. uh, of Pete Burns. Do you remember this? Were you alive? I then? was alive, but very small. Very small. Very small. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so she's covered that. She's had it, she's, she has always spoken about how she's been a big fan of Pete Burns. Mm -hmm. And when she was on. Um, Drag Race, Race yeah. which coincidentally is being re-recorded. Is, is oh. The new one is being done now. So season two. That's exciting. Being recorded. Dawn French is going to be one of the guest judges. She has posted about how there's um, perspex screens between the, the guests. Okay, to stop them touching each other. To stop them touching each other. They, mm -hmm. they can only do it for like 10 minutes before RuPaul starts to melt and they have to ice her down again. Um, so that's exciting. Mm -hmm. So uh, Vivian has recorded this with a, a, a producer called Initial Talk. Okay. Who is very trendy at the moment? Uh, okay. um, does love very of, on know, vogue. Very on vogue. Lots of all the very, very, very fashionable people like Connie Francis mm -hmm. and um, Cliff Richard. Those kind of people. Um, so we've got a picture of the Vivian here, who is kind of in the video and the photo shoot, paying homage to, oh, okay. to Pete Burns, to which Pete Burns. is very, it's actually quite a good. That is a very good I don't likeness. think he's, he's copying. I don't think he's supposed to be him. It's just, it's just kind homage. of an homage. Yeah. We've got a picture of, of, of Pete Burns here. To be fair, that's pretty kind of towards the end, the end where yeah. he'd had a lot of surgery and a lot of sort of reconstructive surgery because other surgery had gone wrong. Um, I've heard it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay. You know, I don't think you can... I don't think you can top the original. Well, apart from Danny Minogue's um, use of that in her song, right... Um, Put the needle on it. Was it put the needle on it? Yeah. Was it I Begin to Wonder? I Begin to Wonder, I don't know. It was one of her songs. It was one of those. It was one a of dance those song. They played in the gay discotheque exactly. of in the, the time. In the late noughties, yes. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think you so. So, yeah, you know, go and stream it. Go and... What do you do with music? That kind of stuff. Um, so, final bit of showbiz news. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about a British film. Okay. Um... Everyone's talking about Jamie. Oh. So you're aware of the musical? I am aware of the musical. You, I, I you have haven't seen it, have you? I haven't seen it, but I ha do like the soundtrack. You know it off by heart, the soundtrack. I, I know quite a lot of the soundtrack oh, off by yeah. heart, yes. So for those people that don't know about Everyone's Talking About Jamie, mm -hmm. it's based on uh, a BBC documentary from kind of like sort of mid-20... Sort of mid... About 2010. Yeah, that kind of... Yeah, I was stumbling with those words. Um, and it's about um, a young person who wanted to become a drag 
Jacqui, Jacqui mm -hmm. Former. And um, it was all about the process of that. This, um, they wanted to go to their um, prom mm -hmm. in drag, and the teachers initially said, no, it's, it's lovely, it's really lovely. So then it was turned into a musical, which yep. has been on the West End. Mm -hmm. It should have toured this year, but mm -hmm. Rona seen, seen the end of that. It, yep. I was going to go and see that, but I couldn't see it. So, yeah, they are recording. It's going to be out in um, February next year. Okay. Uh, we've got some pictures of of Jamie. Okay. Who is the is the main character? This is Jamie, mm -hmm. and their alter ego mm -hmm. drag queen who is um, called Fifi Latrue. Fifi Latrue. Um, and then we've got a picture of Jamie at a launch or a premiere mm -hmm. uh, of something. Um, and then so they're starting to release little snippets of okay. the film. And um, so the, Sarah Lancashire mm -hmm. from Coronation Street is going to play the mom. Lovely. Um, Shabna Glati, who again was from Coronation Street mm -hmm. and also in Dinner Ladies. Yes. She's going to play the, the mum's best friend. Great. Uh, and we've got Richard E. Grant in it, who's going to play the mentor um, to Jamie. Great. So that I, I can't wait for it to come, out, to come out at the cinema next year. Brilliant. And there we are. That is the end of this week's Showbiz News. Thank you, Lee. It's always good to see that things are coming back. Coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. Don't go anywhere, because after this short break, it's Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to talk to the person who enjoys a little trip over the smelly bridge. It's Mike in the buzz. Not only do I like a, a little trip over it, I like to stop halfway and play poo sticks. Do you? I do indeed, yes. Oh, I like to just okay. plop it in and see how long it takes to come out the other okay. side. If anybody knows what the hell we're talking about, please, please send us a message. And, and then please don't send us a message, you filth pot. Um, so I have been having a, a bit of a, a look around the internet. Oh. Okay. And I, I, we found a, a news article about hacking. Okay. Which is a very serious thing, and I, I, it's not, if, you can, if you've got the skills to do it, please don't. It's not nice. However, this person deserves a medal. As um, a man has claimed he's logged into Donald Trump's Twitter account oh. by guessing his password. In just five attempts. Wow. So it, it, was, um, it was MAGA. Oh. Related. Which MAGA is, related? Yeah, make America great again. Oh, okay. No, I am a... No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't, it that. wasn't that. No, no, no. That was his first guess. That was his first guess. <laughs> <laughs> and then grab them by the cat was the second one. Okay. Yeah. You're right. Yes. Really. I'm just just. No, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but instead of doing the, the honourable thing and tweeting, and saying things on behalf of the Don Don, um, he just basically took screenshots and sent it over to him, saying, "I got into your Twitter." <laughs> oh, what a fool! I know. He had the power. The power finger. to change the world. He could have said, I do no long I no longer want to be president in yeah. capitals. Yeah. Right? And Please do not problem. pay any attention to anything that happens after this tweet, because it's not true. Yeah. Or yeah. Uh, I am apparently a massive racist. Yeah. Dot, 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 dot. Yeah. Or I don't like Cher was right all along. <laughs> the end. That's it. That's all they needed to have done. <laughs> Cher was right all along. Yeah. About what, though? She's been she right about him. so much. <laughs> I know, but she's been right about so much. Well, yeah. 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 Believing in life after love. Yeah. 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 Turning back time. I can't think of any more Shashongs. <laughs> Shashongs. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting gypsies, tramps and thieves shouted in our ear. Oh. So that's either a, a holiday suggestion mm. from the producer or one of Cher's songs. Um, but we'll move on away from... Did he get in trouble? He, he didn't get in trouble, no. Did he not? No. Um, apparently, just, they just changed the password. Oh. So d d does, he, does Donald even realise that this is what's happened? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. No. no. Um, Twitter have said that, you know, they discourage um, people trying to hack into accounts and things like that, and they shouldn't have done that. But I think you should have tweeted as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, I need to brace yourself for some news. Because we're in November, yeah, and yet people are already talking about Easter. No, they're not. Oh, yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they're not. Oh, yes, they are. Uh, uh, <laughs> Don't make me slap my thigh at you. Um, 
And this comes from Maltesers. So now already I can see the, the forgiveness. The Swedes, not the country. Yeah, yeah. No, no, not, not Malta. Not the Maltesers that live on Malta. Is that what no. they're called? They're called Maltese. Maltese. Yeah. Um, but not the Maltesers, which is the lovely little chocolate. Yes, the chocolate balls. Yes, and now the chocolate bunnies. Okay, what's happening yeah. with them They're then? bringing out an orange flavour mm. chocolate bunny. It, it's kind of... You know, bolting the stable door after the rabbits run out, isn't it, really? <laughs> Why are you keeping rabbits in the stable? Because it's more roomy All right, than a okay. hutch. Because everybody's done their chocolate orange thing. They, they have. But yeah. now they're coming in, in bunny shapes, ready for yeah. Easter. Are, are you not excited by this? No, because it's, it's not... It's, give us a different flavour. Give us something original. <laughs> like what? Carrot flavour. Kumquat. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a type of orange. Oh, is it? Um, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit flavour. Yeah. Which are famous for having a really bland fl flavour. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Something see, it's not nicer. As, it's not as easy as it sounds, is it? <sighs> uh, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, they, they could do carrot flavour because they're bunnies or lettuce flavour. Uh, yeah. Or actual rabbit flavour. Rabbit flavour. Yeah. Mm, meaty mm, chocolate. Mm, meaty chocolate. <laughs> so, we've now seen... That Previously, you've talked about meaty cake, and that got it excited. Now we yeah. get meaty chocolate. Mm. Mm. Red, and it's red, so when you bite into it, it's like you're ripping into a, an alive rabbit. Are you actually part of a dog? Because dog chocolate. I'm just oh, thinking the okay. flavours of dog chocolate. Hair cake, dog. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. thinking. Mm. You've got to think outside the box, people. Don't you just do. give us the same old tub you've had for years and years. <laughs> oh, it's the Twix, it's orange. Woo! <laughs> uh, <laughs> that sell out, so it obviously works. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, we've started a new feature, which is a shopping channel feature, which is called Could VC. Okay, and this is not a knockoff of QVC in any way, shape, or form. But these are things I found on the internet that you can actually buy. So people are selling these things. Mm. Okay, are you ready for the first thing that's available? I am. Okay, so someone in High Wycombe is on a Facebook page sharing a little damaged bed. So that's a mattress. Oh, good. God. And there's a lot of staining on there as well. It's just a little damaged, apparently. There's not just stains on that. It's there's ripped. Like, it's ripped. <laughs> yes. There's holes in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's brown stains. There's yellow stains. There's, lots there's of stains. other kinds of stains. How much do they want for it? Um, they're, <laughs> they're asking for a low price. A low price. They're asking for five pounds. Oh. Oh, I know. Okay. Well, to be fair, until you turn it over, mm -hmm. you don't really see. So uh, there's <laughs> stains all over it when you start. <laughs> So before you turn it over, you see the stains. That should be enough to make you go, maybe not. Again, there's a niche market for everything. There is a niche market for everything. Mm. Um, how about a new sofa? Well, if it's as gorgeous as that mattress, I'm in. Oh, not even better than that. It's got snow on it. Oh. So the sofa has been left outside in the snow and then they've tried to sell it. As like a winter feature. As a winter feature, <laughs> yeah. Dear God. <laughs> um, okay. I think, like, then brought it back inside when it's covered in snow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to take photos to sell. No, like, brush the snow off Didn't first. brush it off, clean it off or anything. Oh, OK. But, yeah. Wow. And how much, <laughs> do, they, and how much do they want for that? Um, that one was $200. $200? Yeah. Oh. And the okay. snow was $50 extra. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and then the last one is someone selling burritos. Okay. Okay, which she was making from home. Do you see the problem with how she's making the burritos? She's making them on the floor. She's making them on the floor. Betwixt her legs. Betwixt her legs. Yes. Um, for $4 a pop. I don't want one. You don't want one? No. You don't want one of her leg no. burritos. I don't think she's meeting health and safety hygiene I issues I don't think there. she is either. And I, I'm concerned about what she's filling them with. Well, meat. Meat? Meat. Okay. Leg meat. <laughs> Cottage cheese. And if something makes you laugh so hard you're not sure whether you've peed yourself a little bit, why not share it with us? Just look for The Could TV on all of the usual social media platforms. Our inbox is waiting for you to fill it. And that's just what's happened this week when we've received a letter from Mrs. Belinda Mycock in Cockermouth. And she says... I'd like to enter a photo into your Net of the Week feature. Oh, it's... Boris with pins in. So it looks like she's forgotten to finish it off. 
Uh, you're don't, freaked out by that. Don't say Boris and finish off in the same sentence. He's got kids. We know he's done it. Ugh. Do you know, because he's got pins in it, could be a voodoo doll. You know what a voodoo doll's actually called? Poppet. A poppet? A poppet. You're full of useful information I today, am indeed, aren't you? yeah. It's, it's completely useless in all ways, shapes and forms. Oh, OK. And moving swiftly on, our story of the week this week comes from Bongai Matwa, who shared a straight, happily married father who's been wearing a skirt and high heels in public for years. And he wanted to just prove to people that clothes don't mean anything other than it's just what you're wearing. And shared some pictures. So here he is going to work, just dressed in a skirt and heels. And matched all the time. Mm. We, we posted this on our social media and it got quite a lot of favourable responses. Lots of people really enjoyed mm. it. And it Did great, great legs. Absolutely killer legs, mm -hmm. which has made a lot of people jealous. Yeah. yeah. And also it's brilliant to see so, a, a straight ally just standing up for people and saying, look, these are just clothes. Just clothes and I like the way they feel. Yeah, exactly. And I've got the legs to, to pull off a decent pair of heels. Yes. So a little bit jealous. Good there. for him. Very good for him. Something that you might start venturing out with? Lee? I would have to wear a moo moo. A moo moo? Yeah, a moo moo. Moo moo. Ancient things of moo moo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what about a heel? How big a heel would you go? I don't know, I've never tried. I'd just wear a, you know, a, a kitten heel. A kitten heel? Yeah. <laughs> Cheeky but <laughs> saucy. Cheeky but saucy kitten heel. Yeah. Yeah, because cats have been punished enough apparently. Mm. Yeah, I, I think I'd look good in a skirt. Would you? Yeah. What I, kind? Huh? What kind? I think a nice little A-line thing. An A-line yeah. skirt? Oh, or maybe one of those fishtail ones. Go big or go home, innit? I'm seeing one kind of like black PVC, zip up the back, easy <laughs> access, that kind of thing. <laughs> Thigh-high boots. Yeah! Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm slightly concerned that you're picturing me like that. That tells me more about me than it tells about yeah, you. Yeah, I feel a bit ill now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks, Mike. I will be off down the shops tomorrow to buy myself a massive skirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got just enough time to pick a peck of pickled peppers before we have our life lesson. Welcome back. It's not a phase. We won't grow out of it. It's time for this week's... Life Lessons. A life lesson. A life lesson that is, is a vital life lesson to okay. anybody who owns a house and towels. Okay. Yeah. So, um, have you ever had guests over at your house? I have had guests at my house mm. before the Rona. Yes. Before the Rona. I, I made sure that when I bought the house I had enough spare bedrooms for people to come over and stay. And... Okay. Do you provide them with um, accoutrements to have a shower the day after or a... Hose pipe. Mm. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Send them out to the yard and spray them with a the hose. Okay. No, of course. I'm a good host so they do have towels and I always leave a little bit something on the pillow as well. They don't like that though, do they? When you leave a little chocolate. No, no. You've made yourself. Leave chocolate behind. What do you leave on their pillow then? So if it's if it's a, a, a couple of friends that I know that are together, you know, I'll mm. leave them condoms and lube out. Okay. And slashes of both. Are you a pimp? Um, no, because I don't charge them. <laughs> you don't charge um, I'll take a cut of their of their earnings. Um, but then if it's like my, my parents are staying over, it'll be a little bottle of Prosecco. Oh, right. I'm glad you didn't say lube and condoms. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's just... Little bottles of Prosecco. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah just a yeah. thoughtful little gift. Oh, well, that's lovely. I don't do that. Um, being in my home is a gift enough as it is. Yeah. And to be fair, I don't like many people stay overnight because I just don't like people. Anyway, th that's my issues. We're going to do something today, demonstrate something today that we can all do because we've all got towels. Uh huh. Um, and, you know, you said leaving somebody a little gift. Uh huh. We can make things out of towels. Okay. Like, you know, like, you can do origami with um, paper. paper napkins and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, you can do it with towels. Because okay. if you've ever been to, like, a fancy hotel, uh -huh. don't know why I said it like that, um, but quite often they will have uh, arranged the um, towels into um, something lovely, like... Um, a swan. A swan or um, a, a giant penis. penis. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like it when they do the towels in a roll. Oh, do you? So they have the one towel there and then the... 
that oh, tells you okay. I quite like that. Well, that's nice. So today, I'm going to show you how to make an elephant out of a towel. Now, I can towel. do this trick. I can do the elephant. No, not, no, no, not with your junk. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, with the towels. Oh, okay. Nobody towels. wants to see that trunk. Um, so. Oh, it's a baby elephant. <laughs> Oof. So, you will have, so there's only three things you need. Okay. Two towels. Uh-huh. And um, some googly eyes. Some googly eyes. Yeah. You can take those home afterwards and you can do whatever you want with those. You can give your downstairs elephant eyes. I don't care. Just don't ever tell me about it. <laughs> okay. So. Send you the pictures. <laughs> what you need to take one of your towels. Okay. And, Any particular um, one? They're both the same size. Okay. So it doesn't matter. So take your towels and you're going you're gonna to lay them out um, horizontally. Okay. So, like... You, so not vertically like this. Horizontally like this. Horizontally like that. Yes. They're brand new. They're, 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 they're I have treated you the, to... It's got the tag on it. got the tags on them. Um, so, so you've, so you've got... Um, oh, 100% cotton. Okay. Uh, yeah. Property of NHS. Oh. No, they're not. I didn't steal them from a hospital. Um, so, for, lie, lay out your, your, your um, towel. I have laid out my towel. Okay. Um, in fact, well, it might be easier to Ooh. do it horizontally. Okay. Okay. What you're going to do is, mm -hmm. so this one side of your towel, uh -huh. you're going to fold over to kind of about that much. <laughs> about that much? Yeah, about that much. So Which nine inches? Th that many inches, yeah. Um, and then you're going to do that mm -hmm. on the other side. I have, my, I have my instructions here, you see. I haven't practiced this, I've just watched it. Um, okay. okay, so then when you've done that, <laughs> what you're gonna do is, you're going to take, so you're gonna kind of put your hand in the middle. So that's kind of gonna be your... Middle. Middle part. You can, if you want to be very precise, you can fold it over uh -huh. to measure and then unfold it. Okay, oh, so right, what you're going to do now is at this end, or whichever end you want to do, it doesn't okay. really matter. You don't have to. You're going to start to roll the towel. Okay. Halfway into the middle. Halfway into the middle, or into the middle. Into the middle. Into the middle. Okay. Yeah. So once you've got halfway across with one side, mm -hmm. you flip it round. And you roll that. Okay, roll it. Yeah. So you kind of want equal. Oh, it's got a... It unrolled itself. Well, that's because you, you, you pushed it over the edge, and it. No, I didn't. It rolled over the edge itself. It, it sent it itself over. over. Um, you've got me rolling towels. I think you've got a haunted towel. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you saw that then. I rolled it to the middle. Ooh. Okay. I turn it round. Right. And then we put the other side on. Okay. Right. I think I'm going to get there this time. Right. Okay. Ooh. Right. So you've that got kind of like a little... What, what like a called? scroll. Like a little scroll. Like it should be town crying. Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do with that is we're, we're going to turn it over so that um, the kind of seam is at the bottom. Okay. Feel the quality of the towel. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to get that end, so the far end, mm -hmm. and fold it towards yourself. Okay. Okay, yeah. So you will have like four little things. Yeah, okay. okay. So they are going to form the body of the um, um, ephilump. Okay. Okay. So um, you can stand it up like that. Is it going to unravel? Oh, yours looks quite grubby. I have to say, mm -hmm. did you use yours to wipe the back screen of my car? <laughs> I can believe it. Which is why <laughs> it's a little bit grubby. Um, there was an emergency. So that is the first part we can put to one side. Okay. We're going to use that again in a, it, it shortly. So now you need to get your other towel. Now this is where it might go horribly wrong because it, this is slightly more complicated than um, the first one. Okay. So 
Um, <clears throat> you're going to fold your towel mm -hmm. in half. Okay. So, towards you like that. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to open it again. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. We're going we're gonna to do it that way. We're going to do it... Is that so it puts a crease in it so you know where the middle point yeah. is? Yes, so we know where the middle is. Okay, right. Okay. Um, and then what you're going to do is take the, a corner of the towel and kind of make like a tubey triangular shape. Okay. And like a cone. Like a yeah, cone. cone. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to roll it until it gets to that kind of halfway point. Okay. Okay. And the then what you're going to do is you're going to spin it round and you're going to do the same um, at the other side. Okay. So, yeah. So I want me, me two wide bits to be in the middle. Yeah. When I was in the Savoy, you see, um, we only made swans. Elephants were, de were deemed too common. So like that. Yeah. So you've kind of so yeah. So so you've got like a a cone shape thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then what you know you're gonna flip it over. So the seam is on the table on the bottom okay. side of the table. Mm -hmm. um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold. So the top bit, the seam here. Yeah. You're gonna fold it down. So you fold it down. Okay. So, so far, oh, it's very exciting. I think it's. I think it, it, you're right. It is exciting. I think it's going to work. Um, so the uh, so at the moment, every time I turn, every time I fall down, it opens up oh, for me. Okay. Right. Um, mine looks yeah. a little bit like an aardvark. Okay. At the moment, so um, <laughs> we're going to make the trunk. Okay. Okay. So. If you imagine the two flappy bits at the top, they're, they're going to be the elephant's ears. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. And um, that's its head bit. And then mm -hmm. this bit is its trunk. And then you're going to balance the head on there. Like that. Okay. But you may not be balancing it like that. So it's stood up. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever you want. And then you're going to take t some of your, your eyes uh -huh. and, and give it a face. Okay. I think something's gone horribly wrong with mine. And there you should have... If I, I spin mine round... <laughs> Yours looks the unwell. fetus of an elephant that didn't make it full term. That is what mine is. Uh, um, mine looks okay, actually. Looks a little bit rabbity. Yeah, it's got a very wide trunk. It's very popular. Is it? Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, that, that was that was this week's invaluable life lesson. Well, thanks for that, Lee, for that invaluable life lesson. That brings us to the end of this week's show. Just enough time to say you can find us on your social media platforms. Just look for the Could TV, and our website is the Could TV. And while you're there on our website, have a look at the support section for extra content, including outtakes. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye! Bye! Bye.